mention a video in which he shows what appears to be an officer kicking a yellow object on the ground. We don't know what that object is. Good afternoon, class. I want to talk about the two words, yellow object. Yeah, you heard me right, yellow object. First of all, let me brief you about the background, about this yellow object. On the 21st of September, there was a protest. There was a protest in Yunlong. A man wearing a yellow vest was dragged into a back alley by policemen, several policemen, scores of policemen, and beaten there. Now, it happens that there were people on the podium of a tall building looking down, taking photos, taking videos, and capturing the brutal beating, the brutality on film. Capturing policemen pinning the man on the ground, raining blows on him, with one officer filmed clearly kicking the man. Let me explain why the man was wearing a yellow vest. He belongs to an organization called um, Protect Our Kids. Exactly what they do is they put themselves between anti-right police and the protesters. They may sympathize with the protesters, but in no way do they pose any danger to policemen. But of course, you can understand they are a nuisance to the police. At a press conference the next day, the police were confronted with the video about the brutal beating. This senior officer named Vasco Williams, his acting superintendent. Well, this is what he said. I'm reading this out to you. You mention a video in which it shows what appears to be an officer kicking a yellow object on the ground. Now, we don't know what that object is. Yellow object. Yellow object. First of all, let me ask you this question, Leo. Would you refer to a person as an object? Yes or no? You didn't say anything, but you shook your head. And I take this as no, right? Let me tell you what I think. Now listen carefully. You you do use the word object to help describe in a phrase a person. For example, I'm very much in love with Yo-Yo. So she is the object of my affection, the object of my love. Another example. Billy is laughed at in school by classmates. So he is the object of ridicule. Is that clear? So you do use the word object to refer to a person in a phrase, but you don't use it by itself to describe someone. Is that clear? for Superintendent Williams to use the word object to describe a victim, a citizen. That's a problem. Superintendent Williams is a senior officer. Well, I can see that he has a good education. He got a degree in law, so he should know better. Superintendent Williams put on a uniform and thinks he can dehumanize everyone, including Hong Kong citizens, protesters, 
the pejorative overtone is all too clear. There's no mistaking it. Not just object, but yellow object. Well, that brings me to the first word, the color adjective, yellow. Why yellow object? Superintendent Williams has been living in Hong Kong for many years. For an officer of such a high rank, he must have, he must have received culturally sensitive training. You just don't call Chinese people yellow object. This, this is a racial slur, no, nothing less. And then Superintendent Williams follows up with this. I'm reading this out to you. We, we don't know what that yellow object is. We don't know what that yellow object is, but there are the videos that are more clear, that show the entire incident, and there's no more practice, and there's no more practice by the police. The video is very out of focus. It could have been an object, a person, a bag, or a vest. The Chinese poet Tou Yunming, he has a famous poem, something like this. There's truth in it for everyone to see. I don't want to argue. Words fail me. So, judge for yourself whether the video is our focus, whether it is blurry, or whether it is high definition. I don't want to waste time. I would like you to judge for yourself. I move on to the next thing Superintendent Williams said. It could have been an object, a person, a bag, or a vest, which policemen were kicking. Now, who in his right mind would fiercely kick an object? if it is not a human being. So, it was not an object, but a human being. A protester, a Hong Kong citizen, that was lying there on the ground, defenseless, unarmed, breathing, that was on the receiving end of their brutality. Lastly, the superintendent said, Now, knowing you have been videoed, do you think any police officer would be that stupid to assault someone under detention? I don't think so. But this is what he said, I don't think so. Let me answer this question. Although the police know they are being filmed, they will still go on beating Hong Kong citizens. You know why? Because they know they know well that they have their ass covered from above, by above. They won't lose their job. No way will they be caught martialed. No retribution. Hong Kong police force used to be Asia's finest, trained by a British system. But now they have changed beyond recognition. Well, to wrap it up, I'm sure there's a correlation between Superintendent Williams' yellow object remark and the passing of the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. Those powerful congressmen in America must have taken note of what Superintendent Williams said. It will have convinced them that something needs to be done to protect the interests of Hong Kong people. So in a sense, Superintendent Williams has done a great disservice, a great disservice to the Hong Kong government and the Hong Kong police force. This is no homework, but do read some newspapers. Think about this yellow object topic. You can write something and let me read. All right?